about the shaving heads. You don't understand some things. Shaving heads is no good for you. No good, period. No good. And why it is no good? Because when you shave your head, then you are creating disaster for yourself. You are creating disaster. The hair is dying. You are shaving that leftover, whenever. You start losing your hair. You start shaving your head. But what happens, the hair that you shaved, it is sitting under the skin, inside of your your skull. Now you have a splinter sitting in your head. Splinter. The same like if you would put something uh, inside of your uh, hand, like sometimes when you get to some thing, you can get a splinter. That what you have, a splinter. The hair dead is not going to grow, it's not going to come up. It's going to stay there. It's going to stay there. Then now the skin is closing on that because the hair is not coming up. And sometimes it is not like closing. It is going to take a long, long time. You have like a volcano. Volcano with bacteria. Bacteria around the root. The root is dead, sitting inside of your head. And the head is holding something dead. Then can you imagine when you have a lot of hair on your head, when you shave, there are a lot of dead bodies, dead, uh, dead uh, roots sitting there. The roots not coming up. The roots not coming up. They sit there. If, if uh, Because what happened, they are dead. They are not growing. They are sitting there. And they are sitting deep. And they are not growing. They are sitting there. They are sitting dead. Dead, 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 as dead can be. They get uh, bacteria around, they, they, the roots get bacteria, and there is nothing clean about. There is nothing clean about. Period. Nothing clean about. The bacteria want to get out of the thing because they are a lot of bacteria. Then they get uh, on the top of the head as well from those roots. But what happens uh, if somebody have a hair and they are losing hair? I am talking like losing, that the baldness start coming up. You know, uh, they are more safe because the root is coming up with the hair. The hair is pulling the root and eventually uh, the area is healing. They don't have the splinters inside of their head. There, there are no splinters. The, the root came out and uh, now uh, the skin is healing. Uh, and uh, there is no place uh, uh, f after a long, long time. It's going to take still very long time till the area is going to heal by shaving that thing. And the root, the root is sitting there. The root is sitting there. A little bit, if you touch it, it is sticking out. Maybe a little bit, tiny bit that the shaver didn't get it. And sitting there and doesn't go nowhere. That's it. It stays there. Stays there. Nothing coming up. Stays there. Bacteria, dead body growing around. Uh, uh, that's what it is. Around dead body, you get bacteria. And... Uh, like I said, I want to concentrate about uh, the specific uh, one, uh, one subject, the shaved head. Somebody think like, oh, look at me. I look so cool. No, you look no cool. There is nothing cool about head with no hair. You know, you are trying to look some kind of tough. There is no toughness. The one toughness is about uh, people that they shave their heads and some other pe uh, people think that they are tough. You know what? I'm going to tell you one thing, but that's an other subject. There is a nothing tough about people that they lost their hair. Those people are just, uh, you know what? I wouldn't mess up with them. If I was somebody, you know, 
up to fights or so, I wouldn't mess up with the guy that losing here because he's a very angry guy. And you stay away from angry guys. You don't bother, you know, because the angry guy, you don't want to get to fights with them. The same like the dog. If you have an angry dog, the dog is not maybe strong, but the dog is going to attack the other dog. The angry dog is going to attack other dog. That's a psychological trauma. You know, somebody's losing hair, they go through some trauma and they can get really angry over the time. And uh, somebody think like, oh, they are so tough, you know. No, they are so tough, they are pissed off at the world. They are pissed off, they are losing hair. There is nothing good about that. And uh, now what they want to kick somebody's ass, you know. And, and you think like, wow, somebody is so tough, you know. Where did toughness come from? You think like this toughness come because somebody got the strength due to losing hair? Is that how the thing goes? If you're going to lose hair on your dog, that means the dog is going to be stronger. If you're going to lose hair on your cat, that means the cat is going to be stronger. People wake up from this stupid dream. Wake up. Then uh, what I was trying to say, like I was saying before, I'm going to go like back and forth to one subject and try to go back to the, uh, the same subject again, because... Uh, uh, I don't concentrate about uh, one thing. I have a lot of different ideas and it makes me going like all over. I do researches about hair. I know about hair. I know what takes to have a hair or, and what happens, uh, why people losing hair. There are a lot of talking and a lot of talking, stupid talking about uh, why people losing hair. And there are a lot of stupid talking why people have a hair. But that's not the reality. That's not the reality. Nobody wants to talk about so much about hair. Some guy with uh, lost hair, he's not going to start talking about uh, some bad, bad things about lost hair. There is no way that is going to happen. Then uh, you have the wishy-washy thing about hair. And uh, on the top of that, you know, that's an other subject. But anyway, I'm going to make some other videos about other things and there are a lot of things to talk about it is shocking to the world probably to find out about uh, that uh, their way of thinking about hair is way off if you still have a hair on your head and the hair is falling off you are losing hair you better off because what happened the hair uh, is pulling off that root and the root is coming out of that area and uh, you better off with out of uh, the root sitting there and rotting, 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 that's what it is. And nothing so cool about that woman walks to you and touch your head. Women, they don't think too much about, uh, they don't understand the thing. They say, say sometimes, oh, clean shaved. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Clean shaved. There is no such a thing. Clean shaved of head, then it looks clean. Oh, that's what you think, you know? That's what you think. That that uh, the 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 roots sitting there inside of the head, you know, and bacteria around that, that's a clean shaved, you know. Oh yeah, I have a clean shaved. Don't believe in that. If you have uh, the problem losing hair and uh, obviously almost everyone is losing hair and the, you're getting bold you're getting bold that's what it is it is not the best experience in the life but you know at least you get away from uh, that craziness shaving head and having splinters splinters i'm gonna repeat splinters you got uh, in your head sitting all over and you know what when you see somebody is touching their head, like, you know, they are uh, like, uh, kind of like petting themselves. How can you say that different way? They are like uh, through their head. What they do, they are scratching themselves that way. Just a polite kind of way. 
because what happens it is itching you know it is itching too and uh, some people know it you know that uh, well you know if I have some kind of hair uh, longer hair or something then uh, it is not itching that much you know but when I shave the thing it is itching but some people they you know they got already used to it to that uh, pain and suffering that uh, they just uh, deal with that but you know it is nothing good about nothing good about you don't want to have bacteria on your head and now those bacteria they are not just uh, sitting there bacteria are bacteria they want to they want to take over they spread they spread around and they spread around to the other things but that's an other subject i'm going to discuss in other session i'm going to bring uh, to your attention some other things telling you about uh, uh, things that uh, people don't know people don't know 